What's going on everybody in the YouTube world? So today we've got Parker right there. He wants me to blur his face out, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yes, we got the one, the only Bryce Dugos out here with us today. We are out here at the creek today, or a creek, and we're just gonna go for anything and everything we can catch. Hopefully it's gonna be good and we'll get back to you when we catch a fish. It was not good. So yeah, we basically spent I don't know, three hours, two or three hours of our lives at those creeks and caught a whole bunch of nothing. And that bird, come on bro. Shh. Then we moved to another creek and it was decent. Not good enough to make a video out of though. Then the next day, which is what you'll see right here. Uh, this was at Parker's Pond. Well, we didn't go for the pond. He didn't even know he had the pond and we're really not even sure if there's fish in the pond, but we really went there for the river. His land is on a pretty popular river around here. A lot of people go and fish it. I've actually fished it before myself and it's really good, but the water was so high. Really the only thing we probably could have had a chance of getting was catfish and we really didn't come prepared for catfish so we just sort of nixed that idea. And when we figured out that, you know, we needed to have another plan, I was racking my brain and I couldn't think of anywhere better than Coleman's pond. I mean, his pond is just phenomenal. Luckily, in today's video, it did produce numbers and size. So y'all just get ready for all that action. And y'all should be seeing that in about right now. We're out here at Coleman's Pond, hopefully gonna catch some more Mondos like we have in the past. And I think we can do it today. It's overcast, it's not really hot anymore. And Everett said they have been hitting pretty good on top of the water. So got a Cinco rigged up and a topwater lure and we're gonna see what happens. You got him? Nice. Dude, that's a brim. Dude, that's a that is a Mondo oh, brim. God. Hold up, let me get the camera. Oh, dude, he's had a chunk taken yeah, out of him. He's a little gnarly. Oh, dude, that's crazy. That's a good gill. Yeah, it is. Look what he ate, though. Yeah, he ate a full blown. Look how big that is. Oh, oh, oh shoot. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Oh, 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 he's spearing me. There's the bait, a full-blown Cinco. Dude, full size, let's go. Chunker. Ready? See you, buddy. Coleman didn't think that there were any brim left in this pond, but I think there are. That's There's a quite one. a few. That's a good start. Everett, we just caught a modular brim. Parker. Oh my God. That's another gill. That's gotta be a gill. Okay, hold up. All right, you're good. It's way over here. Holy crap, dude. What is that? Oh my God. That is a giant. Stedman, look at this. That is a chunk of a bluegill. Look at that thing compared to my hand. That, my friends, is a beautiful fish. There's gotta be some sort of like either school or bed out there. All right, buddy. See ya. What a brim. Catching modulars out here today, boys. Good? Looks good. You got him? Let's go. Let's go, dude. Bass. First bass. <laughs> oh. I, w I was not going to lose him, though. <laughs> nice, dude. Bass good job. Classic. First bass of the day. Let's get a sick release on him. He's going barefoot, guys. Ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, get Parker. Him get him. Get him. Dang, son, Parker's got another big one. We got a double header, son. That's a good fish, dude. Yeah. Look at that thing. Nice. Parker. Oh, look at that. That's got chunk. some snapper color, huh? Yeah, he does, man. Look at that. You ready, Bring? Yeah, chunk him back. See you later. Oh, Bye, Mr. oh he's good. Hey, Coleman. Run, Coleman, run. I can only go so fast. <laughs> And look at this thing. Yo. Nice. Oh. Got him. A little curly tail. That's a good gill. Look at that, baby. Dude. Coleman. There's the first gill for me, first fish for me in general. And just check out the colors on that. Just so pretty. Look at the blue on that gill. I haven't seen a bluegill like this in a very long Dude. time. Let's get them off. There we go. 
get a few pictures and we're gonna let him go. One last look at her. Nice big purple bluegill. I'm gonna say yeah. That's a bad Sweet. What you got, spinnerbait? Yep. Look how fat that thing is, man. That's a chunky little fish right there. Southern largemouth bass. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what he's referring to, Fish Fact Friday just uh, posted yes, it uh, yesterday. We're learning, baby. Learning and catching fish. Look at that. Yes, sir. I didn't know he was even on. He comes off the edge and his pole immediately. <laughs> See ya, bucko. Gone. They're biting this little curly tail. The brim are. I don't know about the bass. Oh. 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 Oh, you're joking. No. Parker does, though. Gosh. That's ridiculous. In the stance? In the stance, dude. Look at that. Wow. Bam. 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 That's what I'm talking about. This one swallowed it pretty bad. We're going to release him sort of close to the shore. So if he does sort of, you know, kick the bucket, we can get him back and eat him. There's that one. Wow, Parker. Wow. He's got it. That's a big fish. Dude. Oh, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> he is literally hooked by a skin tag. Oh, my God. How did you get that in? <laughs> that's, some, that's some strong skin. <laughs> Something just hammered the top of the water right over there. Good fish, dude. Do you have an extra spinnerbait by chance? Uh, you can look. Uh, I got a Mondo one in the top. I might be using that. You got him. You got him that time, son. You grab his yeah, I got him. Oh That's a good one. Yeah, he's oh, get out of those weeds. Nice. Nice, dude. Well, I could unfortunately not get a double up, but Stead still got a nice size little bass. I do. Is that dent right there common? Oh, yeah. Looks like he got bit. That's yeah. what Parker's brim had. Or no, 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 Matthew's brim. See that? Matthew's brim had like a notch taken out of him. I bet it's all these turtles out oh, here. Check. Nice. Perfect release. All right, so we're going full blown top water now. And this one sort of looks like a frog. So maybe they like frogs. Oh my god! Dang. No! Oh my god! God, dude! Was that the seven pounder? No, that wasn't seven, but he was probably three. Guys, I mean, he's gonna have a blast. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Big nice. one, dude. Big. That's a big brim. I wish I could this. It's the, uh, is it on the Probably not. Oh, that's a bass, dude. I thought you were a brim, mister. Oh, God. What'd you get there, Brian? A bass. You got one? Give Chill. me one sec. Wanted to catch him on artificial, preferably top water, but. Nice release, man. I didn't see Thanks, it, bro. man. Graceful. I was... You ready to go? Yeah, man, let's go. Bye, YouTube. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. See ya. All right, Coleman. Next time we come out here, catfish catching cook. Ooh, 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 ooh. Big fish. Really? Yeah. No, dude, another bass. Nice. I start fishing with worms to try to catch bluegill, and I start catching what I've been going for the whole time. Bass number two. See you, buddy. Something's got mine. Yeah. Get him. You got him. Oh, that's a good fish. What you got, son? Look at that gill. Another good nice. one. What is up Not with bad. all these fish? I seriously think it's these turtles. Yeah. See that, guys? Third or fourth fish today that we've caught with a chunk taken out of its back. I think I got, I think I got a dead worm. Yeah, you're asleep pretty dead. Oh, immediate, dude. That's a good one. Is that another bass? It is. Having to do a little fish surgery. They're swallowing it pretty bad right now. But we 
gonna fix that right about easy peasy lemon squeezy now he's all good to go Ooh, got him oh did you see that <laughs> what is this it's like a flying fish dude what is that is that a giant creature? That is a giant shiner. Did you see how far that thing jumped? Yeah. That might be the biggest shiner I've ever caught in my life. Yep. That thing is huge. Parker's got a fish right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what you got? Uh, I think a blue gill. Bluegill? Yeah. Yep. Nice gill. I'm gonna get this guy, get him back in the water because they don't live very long. I wonder if these are uh, copper nose. They sort of look like copper nose. Look at that joker. Bigger than my hand. That thing is huge. See ya, bucko. Ooh, smacked it. Little belly flop action right there. Well, Coleman, you happy to know that your bluegill population isn't completely decimated? And when we get some more of those catfish out of here for that uh, catch and cook? Yeah. Be even better. I tell where this thing is. Oh, buddy. Right when you put it in. Come back for it. I dare you. Got him. Nice. Another good gill. Guarantee you. Oh, my God. That is huge. Look at that thing. Dude, that thing is oh so fat. Oh, my. Dude. That is actually ridiculous. Look at that gill, guys. That thing is giant. That, my friends, is a giant gill. I mean, just look at it compared to my face. Just absolutely ginormous. We're gonna get a release on this guy. Oh, Parker, 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 get him. Dude, big. Here, I'm gonna get this guy back because he's been out of the water for a while. Oh, it's a bass, dude. <laughs> nice. I thought it was a giant gill. Check it out. Dude. Just grab him like you mean it. Three, two, one, go. Well, while Parker uh, struggles with that, I'm gonna get another one. Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh, it is a big catfish. Look at that chunk of a fish, dude. Oh, he broke, he broke. Oh, he's gonna stick me. Dude, the camera? Oh, look at that thing, dude. Look at how fat that joker is. She's fixing to lay eggs. That's why she's so fat. Dude. I threw right where we were catching those brim yeah. and she smacked it. She fought like a daggum. Well, she is a tank, but she fought like an even bigger tank. We're doing a catfish catch and cook episode here in a few days. So uh, hopefully she'll come back and uh, bite her hook so she can be on the dinner plate. But yo. Dude, that thing. Oh, how, how? sweet. See, I told you it was awesome. We're pretty sure we figured out that there was a brim bed right there and that's why we were catching so many brim. And I'm thinking that the bass and catfish were coming in to prey on the brim. We found the honey hole, we stuck to it, we hammered it out and we got on some good fish. Those gills were giant. And like you heard me say in the video, we are getting ready to do a catfish catch and cook here in the next few days. We've been talking about it for a while, but we just haven't really gotten around to it. And now we're getting around to it. So y'all stay tuned for that. We're gonna cook up those catfish and they're gonna be so good. But as for right now, that is gonna be it for me today on the channel. I really appreciate y'all tuning in and y'all stay tuned for the next episode. And if you're new here, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and leave me a comment down in the comment section. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day, and I will be seeing you later. I got gnats all in my face. Big old cat daddy. <laughs>